my goodness, like a little cloud. What? Mmm. These are amazing. What's your favorite cookie of all time? Because today we're making a homemade snickerdoodle cookie. Guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and these cookies are gonna be your absolute favorite cookies to make. You're never gonna have to buy store-bought again. All right, guys, so we're gonna get started with our wet ingredients first because, you know, we don't wanna mix our wet and dry together. Not yet. So we're gonna start off with our vanilla flavor. You can use vanilla flavor, extract. We're gonna set that aside. Then we have a little sour cream. Just pour that in. So if you don't have sour cream, you can also use Greek yogurt, just FYI. Okay, we have a little pinch of salt. Okay, we have our molasses. Now molasses is gonna give it the brown sugar taste. If you don't have like a low carb brown sugar substitute, then you can use the molasses. This is a black strap molasses. I'll link it down below. Um, it has the lowest amount of carbs. So you can do that or you can mix and match. And to be honest with you, if you don't have any of it, you can still make these just with your regular granular or powdered sweetener, okay? And now we're gonna mix in our eggs. So everything is room temperature. You wanna make sure that your ingredients are room temperature. I don't wanna crack, I was like. Um, room temperature because that way everything just mixes well. If not, it gets clumpy and you're gonna be like, what's going on here? So, um, you know, just a heads up to make sure that all your ingredients are room temp. And so this batter is actually gonna be a little a little uh, soft, but we're going to uh, put it in the fridge. So let's just get through the wet ingredients. We'll move over, we'll move on to our dry, and then I will show you the next step. Let's move on to our dry ingredients. So we have our almond flour, our sweetener. I use powdered sweetener, but that's just because I feel like it mixes um, better, like into, into baked goods. Now we have our sweetener and we have some xanthan gum. So xanthan gum is our uh, binder. So it helps to bind everything together. It also lends to have like a chewy texture. So if you don't have xanthan or you don't wanna use that, you can also use um, gelatin, okay? And then we have some baking powder. And then we have a little cinnamon because we're about that cinnamon life. Now we're gonna give this a good little mix just to make sure that all the ingredients are well incorporated. So just to make things easier, you could add the butter now. It wouldn't be a problem, but just because of the bowl, the bowl is a little small. So we are going to add it into our wet mixture, okay? So let's go ahead and pour it in. And now that we just gave it like a rough little mix, we're gonna toss in our butter. And this is softened, as you can tell, look at that. So let's mix that in, and that's gonna give it that nice and creamy, um, creaminess that you get in your snickerdoodle cookies. So as you can tell, this batter is a little, you know, it's not um, like a firm batter, and it won't ever be a super firm, firm batter, but it is gonna get a lot more firm than this um, when it sets in the fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and cover it up, and we will let it set for at least an hour. So we have our little clear wrap here. So let's go ahead and just put this in the fridge. So here is our batter. Let's go put it in the fridge and we'll check on it in one hour. So we're gonna let that set for an hour and then we'll end up making those as well. But just to keep things rolling, I already have a batter that I made um, earlier today that has already set. So this is what it's gonna look like. Let's roll it out. And remember I told you it's not gonna be completely firm, but it's definitely gonna be a lot more than what it was. So now we're gonna make our cinnamon sugar mixture. So we have our sweetener here, we have our um, cinnamon, and we're just gonna toss this in and give it a good little mix. And this is what we are going to toss our little cookies in, okay? okay? So we have our tools. We have a little uh, half teaspoon. We have a little baby spatula. So this is what's gonna help us. We have our mixture, right? Our little cinnamon sugar. We're gonna spray our hand because remember, this is a little sticky and we're just gonna grab a, oh, remember it's a little sticky. So you're gonna, you're gonna need a little, you know, a little spatula and a, I mean, you don't have to use a table, the half tablespoon, you can use a spoon, but throw it into your mixture, toss it. So now that we've coated it, this is what it's gonna look like. 
and then we're just gonna place it here. And now we're gonna make the rest. So our cookies are out. And now my favorite part of this entire video is the taste test. You know what? I love that they have a nice, beautiful little crust on the outside. Now let's see what the inside's like. Oh my goodness, like a little cloud. What? Mm. These are amazing. These are delicious. What? Hold on, I need some milk. This is delicious. You guys have to try this recipe. Go make this, come back, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Did you make any tweaks? Do you drink yours with almond milk? I wanna hear your thoughts because it's really the only place where I get to hear your feedback and your, you know, your comments on my recipes. So come back, once you make them, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And I know you guys are gonna make this, so I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description below. There's gonna be a link that's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're gonna be able to print this recipe along with exclusive recipes that you're not gonna find anywhere else on the internet. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and just a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait for you guys to make this recipe. You're gonna love it. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my cookies. <laughs> How many bites to finish a cookie? I, don't know. I guess I could shove the whole thing in my mouth and be a savage. <laughs> okay, but you could do it with two bites. <laughs> If you're trying to live like a healthy lifestyle, you can make all your baked goods and know that they're gonna be clean, good ingredients. It's not gonna throw you off track. Like these are low carb, keto friendly, they're sugar free, super bomb. I love snickerdoodle cookies though. Mm -mm. So good, great dessert. Yeah, this is my view, guys. This is my I have a headache. Mando's <laughs> trying to leave. We're over here making. You're not living in our house. I eating strawberries. <laughs> yeah. What are strawberries going to do? They're like a snack. Oh, no, 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 no. oh Orlando's getting his water in. Yeah. I'm, I'm a like snack. A snack. Oh, Orlando's a snack, he says. Oh. What do you say about that now? He's a big snack. <laughs> 20, He's turning 26. 26. 26. <laughs>